Hi there, thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna make this super quick. I'm going to show you the rigs that I use to catch sharks for the fishing that we do on our YouTube channel here. We do a lot of shark fishing out in the surf off of Padre Island. We catch a whole lot of sharks out there. And the rig that I use is super, super simple. It's really easy to make. It's really inexpensive to make. And it's something that you can do while you're sitting out there at the beach, if for whatever reason you have to do it. You don't need any tools. You only need three specific items, and that's wire leader. I use 175 pound test, but if you want to use like 80 to 100, something like that, you'll do just fine with that. You need some pretty strong three-way swivels, and you need yourself a good size hook. If you want to pick all of that stuff up at the end of this video, after I'm done showing you, there is going to be a link in the description down below. It's going to have all of that stuff. You can sit there and make the order real quick and easy. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so we do get a very, very small commission uh, considering the price of these items. But if you do happen to purchase through that link, I want to thank you very much in advance. All of that money obviously goes towards supporting this channel. Let me get to showing you how we do this. The first thing you do is you are going to need to know how to break off this wire leader. And the way that you do that is you put this little kink in the line. You're going to bend your line 90 degrees. And then right up close to that, you're going to bend it another 90 degrees. We've done this in other videos. We've shown it to you. It's a really easy thing. You sit there and rotate the second bend. This wire leader is really strong against abrasion and pooling and cutting, but it doesn't twist well. So, a couple of turns with that little thing like that and you are going to break it off real super simply. You're going to use that set of pliers if you need to. Pliers obviously are faster, but this is something you can do in a pinch. The next thing you're going to need to know how to do is how to tie the wire leader. This is also really simple. It's a two-step process, but it's something that you need to do and there's a very important reason why. You're going to put the wire leader through the eye of whatever it is that you're tying on and then you're going to put a 90 degree bend in it and you are going to twist the two pieces over each other, the tagline and the main line of that leader. You need to twist those three or four times. This is called a haywire twist. This prevents your knot from sliding up because if it gets into a bind, it's gonna have that twisting issue and you're gonna end up breaking it. So you wanna put these three haywire twists into it and then turn your tagline 90 degrees and you're going to wrap that around a few times. You can do it by hand. You don't need pliers or anything. When you use pliers, it's fine, but you don't need them. Wrap that around a few times. And then you're going to put that little bend in there again. You're going to put your, your little double bend. Rotate that a few times. That is going to snap off that wire leader tag line right up against the knot. If you use pliers, you're going to have that little piece that kind of sticks out a little bit. And you're going to stick yourself. You can cut your hand if you go to grab that when you're pulling the hook out, things like that. You really don't want to do that. So if you learn this twisting method, it's actually going to break that off a lot closer to the knot and make this whole setup just a lot more effective. Now that we know how to break off that line and tie those, the setup for this is going to be super simple. You're going to take a three-way swivel and I'm going to put about 18 inches of line coming off of that, tie on my Y leader, and at the other end I'm tying on a hook. Now I'm going to tie on, depending on the size of bait that I use, which is typically going to be about a 6, 8, or 10 inch mullet. So I'm going to tie a stinger hook on there, and it's the exact same thing. I'm going to go right to that previous bend, the knot that I used to tie on the first hook. I'm going to tie another piece of wire leader onto that, take that about 6 inches back, and tie on a second hook, sometimes smaller, depending on the size of the sharks that we're going to be getting out there. You're going to use that to hook in there. That way, if the shark doesn't, you know, maybe it's a smaller shark, uh, maybe it's a smaller fish. I don't even know what could happen, but basically you want to be able to get those fish if they're biting like the tail end of your bait. This gives you an opportunity to do that. The next thing that we're going to do is take the wire leader. We're going to tie it to the other end of that three-way swivel. We're going to make this one a little bit longer. Now this is going to affect your cast. If it's too long, it's going to make it harder for you to cast this whole thing out. So make it the length that you need to be in order to be able to cast it. I do like it long. The longer this second line is going to be, the higher your bait is going to sit up in the water column. I like to have my bait sitting pretty high up in the water column. The reason being is because that keeps it away from hardheads and croakers and things in the surf that are going to tear up that bait. The higher it sits in the water column, the longer it's going to sit out there, the less bait I go through and the less I have to cast this thing. So typically I try to make that about four feet. Again, if that's too much for you to be able to cast, you can make it 36 inches, make it 24 inches. That'll work just fine. The problem is going to be that your bait may end up sitting on the bottom and you might get some bycatch like stingrays and probably lose a few baits to whiting and stuff like that. At the other end of that, 
You can either tie on a little attachment clip. Personally, I just tie on the weight that I'm going to use, typically going to be four to eight ounce surf weights. I wrap it right on and that's it. You're good to go. That is the leader that I use. You can tie them all day long. It only takes about five minutes to do the entire thing once you get a little bit of practice at it and these things work like a charm. That is how I tie all of my shark leaders. Thank you so much for watching. If you would enjoy uh, joining us for some of our videos, I would very much appreciate it. If you considered subscribing to our channel, we'll take everybody we can get. We've got all kinds of ton videos like these right here. Check them out. Tell me what you think and I'll catch you in the next video.